Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Justice Wordlaw. Um, thanks for stopping by. Um, today we're going over Google keywords, the things that no one wants you to know. So right now we're on the page and we're going over various words of what you would like to be searched for, how you can do it, phrases, and everything else. So let's jump right into it. So right now we're on the Google AdWords page right here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use me personally. I want to be searched for and I want people to find me using various keywords, you know, when they put in a specific phrase. So I wanted to see how I can use these phrases for like backlinks, for SEO purposes, for pay per click things. So what you want to do is find out how, who's searching for these, how many people are searching for them, are they searching for it. So let's do it. So I want to be searched for internet marketing. Chicago and then search oh, a new version refresh all right thank you I have the new version now I'm assuming all right so internet marketing Chicago search it let us search we're gonna see what pops up and see what we can do with this because you always want to find keywords that's really gonna be good for you and what you would like to be searched for. I'm an internet marketer. I live in Chicago. Internet marketing in Chicago, I think it fits what I, you know, I would like to do. All right, come on. Let's see if we can do this. Here we go. So, internet marketing in Chicago on a global searches is about 3600, which is pretty good. I mean, 3600 people are searching for internet marketing in Chicago. It's pretty good. On a local basis, 2900 so I would say that though that those keywords, internet marketing Chicago, and that phrase, internet marketing Chicago, is something I would like to do. I mean, 3,600 is not a huge base, but that's pretty large. That's a lot of people. Even on a local scale, 2,900 is on a key thing. So when I use my pay per click, I'm going to be like, okay, you know what? I want to use this. Now, the next thing that I do, and what you should do as well, you can look right here. You can see this word, internet marketing Chicago is the word I would like to be search for I click that it goes straight to the companies that you can see that are searching for or that have those keywords integrated in their systems so the first one is the Chicago Internet Marketing Services and Chicago SEO company you know so these are the companies that you want to look at because these are your competitors for that specific keyword you know you want to look at look at their website look what they're about their products their services their about me because these gives you an instance of what you need to do. You know, that's how you can take it a little bit more of a step further. Second thing, Chicago Internet Marketing. It's pretty much the same wording, it's just a little bit different. They both get the same thing on a global search, they're getting 3600 on a local 2900 as well. So that's another thing. But you also want to click that as well and see, you know, if the you know, if the websites, if the companies are still the same as well. So you can pretty much see. Because I have it both up. Chicago Internet Marketing, the first company, and also Internet Marketing Chicago. It's the same company. So they're doing pretty good with those phrases. Either either way, they're search number one. So that would be the company that I would really want to look into. So for your company, you want to look into and see, you know, what they're about. So if you have a social media company, you know, you want to do social media New York. Search it. And you want to see, you know, what kind of things or what how social media New York is ranking up against various other things, then you can go there and you could actually try and do it yourself. You know, social media New York. So 1600 people on a on a global is searching for this on a local 1000. So when you click that, that's not, 1600 is not a lot compared to the internet marketing in Chicago, but social media in New York, you got to look at it. 1600 people is a lot of people. A thousand people is a lot of people. I mean, the smaller the number, maybe that's a specific niche that you want to tap into. I don't know. But you click that and look and see the websites. Look and see what they're doing. Maybe these are blogs. Maybe these are just squeeze pages. But these are the key words you might want to use social media New York for your pay per click so you can get a little bit higher. So really look at this, really learn how to implement 
the Google AdWords into your company because you know the sm small keywords phrases a thousand or sixteen hundred people can probably break the difference of what you're getting paid now on a monthly basis you know I, I would say take it and really learn how to implement the Google AdWords you know with the words or phrases you know really play with this because it's really great of how you can really use this tool to help your company grow please you know implement this and thanks for checking it out you have a great one